we just took the last lift off of that truck. Next is my turn. Second in the gate this morning, which is awesome. So it's only 7.24 a.m. I'll be unloaded in another half hour and out of here. I gotta head back up to Kenora, Ontario, which is about a six hour drive from here. I'm gonna cross from Minnesota, uh, Baudet, Minnesota, into uh, Rainy River, Ontario. And we'll go grab another one of these and head back down here to deliver it tomorrow morning. Rush, 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 rush. That's the name of the game. through your tasks throughout your day even if you're just at home you say you're trucking right along right it means the same thing I was gonna go around the corner here uh, there's a gas station I'm gonna grab a coffee and uh, head up towards Baudette cross into Rainy River I cross there because there's no toll there heads up for everybody doing this road <coughs> doing this route if you cross from International Falls into Fort Francis they're gonna charge you money Nobody charges Trucker Josh money. He'll just go around. I will uh, find another way. It's about 15 minutes further, so it's up to you whether or not it's worth it for the fuel. For me, it does save me a little bit of money because the toll going across into Fort Francis from International Falls is something like $20. $16, $20, somewhere in there. And to go 15 minutes further, it's about 25 kilometers or like 18 miles. 20 miles. <laughs> Am I saving a lot? Probably like five bucks. But am I not giving the toll man any money? Yes, I am not. No, I am not. Yes, I am not giving him money. So am I saving any money? Five bucks, maybe. But do I feel good about not giving the toll man my money? 
I feel real good about that. You're gonna charge me a toll? I'm gonna, I'll, I will go out of my way to not pay you your toll. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you charge me to go home? No thanks. Uh, the gas station's just to the left here. I'm just doing the, uh, the parking lot crawl. The holiday gas station is what it's called, holiday. That's a sign, I should take a holiday. <laughs> I just had a holiday. I can't afford another holiday. Gotta wait all the way till next summer. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but this is where uh, I saw all those old classic cars from like the 20s and stuff, those Model T's and everything. It was right here, not too long ago. That was a nice little treat in the morning. They're not here today. They're probably all packed away for winter already. We're all set for the day. I got my coffee. As promised yesterday, I told you I would show you that new airbag. We got a new airbag on the trailer yesterday. And again, a big shout out to Brainerd Truck and Trailer and the owner there who stayed late to get this done for me yesterday. Really appreciate that. So it was the front passenger side on the trailer. That airbag had developed a hole and was leaking. When I got to Brainerd here, he fixed me all up. So it's in here. It's this guy right there. Brand spanking new. You see this bolt right in here? Can you see it? It's a little dark. But that had gotten too close to the bag and had poked a hole through it. Which is weird because there's a bolt beside that one over there too. I don't know why they would put a bolt so close to the airbag on these trailers. Who designed that? There we go, brand new bag. So, me and my new bag, gonna head on up the road. Probably about eight o'clock right now. It's so eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two. Should be getting to Kenora between two and three. And I have to be there before 3.30. Let's get out of here. Turn left. Time is 8.07. So what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to make it back to about Deer River, Minnesota tonight on the way back down. Oh my, traffic, traffic. I should have gone. Why didn't I go? I should have gone. I'm way too nice. I'm way too nice. I didn't want to cut them off. Oh, now it's just constant traffic. Okay, the next little gap, we're going. What in the world, Brainerd? Everybody in town is on this road at the same time. This is crazy. Five hours later. Okay, maybe not that bad, but seriously. I'm sending it. that feeling of pulling an empty trailer after you've been loaded oh there's a cop up here act natural everybody act cool act cool it's up here looking at us making sure we're behaving act natural act natural I've got a camera stuck on my forehead. It's very hard to act natural. <laughs> he didn't think anything of it though. He's leaving me alone. Okay. I always wonder sometimes if they're gonna come pull me over, ask what's on my head. Just a camera. What? Doesn't everybody have a camera on their head? In two kilometers, turn left on Wise Road, CR 49. 
is the Mississippi River, all the way up here in Minnesota. Right here, look at this. Oh, there's your sign. It's not too cold yet. Get out the boat, get on the water. So my video, uh, when I was going through Toronto last week, just went live today when I'm filming this. And I was reading through all your comments before I started going. And I keep forgetting how many of you live in Southern Ontario and Eastern Canada. Like, it seems like the bulk of my audience is from that region because the comments are just filled up with all you guys who live in the area there. So that's awesome. So just so you guys know, I poke a little fun at Toronto. I hope you can take it. It's all in good fun. I love Toronto. I hate your traffic. I'm going to be honest. I hate your traffic. But the city itself, it's filled with great people. So. Hopefully everybody's got a little bit of a thicker skin, right? When I make that joke, uh, the rest of Toronto doesn't know the rest of Canada exists. <laughs> I don't know, I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. Nobody seemed to get rattled by it, but a lot of you out there. I guess a lot of you out east like to see what life is like out west. So let me tell you, I'll, I'll uh, sum up life in western Canada on the prairies. It's very flat. But it's also very easy going. Unless you go to the cities, Winnipeg is Winnipeg. I was always told if you got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. <laughs> hey, hey buddy, that was a solid line, shame, shame on you. Oh well, didn't hurt nobody. Now Winnipeg, I mean I went to school in Winnipeg for my high school years, right? Grade 8 to 12 I went to school in Winnipeg in St. Boniface, it was at a, a, a private Christian school there. I, I kind of fell in love with the city then. I even moved to the city when I turned 18. I lived in St. Patel in the southeast for a year. I moved right downtown to the core for a year. Uh, I lived right on Kennedy behind Portage Place. And after that, I got I got out. <laughs> after living downtown, I was like, no, nope, no more. I am moving all the way back to Steinbeck. I'm going back home. This place is crazy. So, like any city, it depends which area you go to, right? I'm just realizing my window is filthy again. Are you kidding? I just wiped that yesterday. Sorry, guys. Uh, I know my windshield needs to be wiped. I'm gonna, I got some bolts not right here. Next time I pull over, I'll wipe that down. I thought I had cleaned it. Apparently, I just smeared it all around.
hold that. Boats are crossing Ontario. There's the big Trump sign. Lots of those on the road today. You see them all over the place. In 800 meters, turn right on International Drive and add 72. So the new steer tire I bought is working good so far. Two days in, the Black Hawk is holding up. I mean, that's pretty good, right? I have a good feeling about it. I've heard a lot of, I've heard good reports from my friend. And, uh, you know, the, the Black Hawk drives that I have on the back of my truck have been doing phenomenal. Just as good as any Michelin or BF Goodrich or Firestone that I've ever used. In 300 meters, turn right on International Drive and add 72. And at half the price, I mean, you really can't argue with that. I'm, I'm running a business here. I'm not running a charity. At, at a certain point, it doesn't really matter to me where they're made. Like, money matters more than that, right? We want us to use tires from here. We got to find ways to bring the prices down. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. there be such a drastic approaching destination in one price. kilometer on the right side right but whatever i'm not like an economist or some expert in tire prices but i do see where the lowest prices are and they are with blackhawk right now and that's the brand of tire i'm going with on old blue i'll be buying blackhawks from now on we'll see how this steer goes but i'm definitely replacing my drives when it's time to Definitely putting another set of Blackhawks on there. Whoops, I <laughs> scared myself. <laughs> had, my, had my engine brake on still. <laughs> oh, then over the bridge. Look at all these people walking. You can just walk across the bridge. destination in 200 meters on the right side. I guess you just walk up to the window, show them your passport, and... Because they're walking from Canada into the U.S. here. You have arrived at your destination on the right side, Canada border, Rainy River, Highway 11. As long as you walk over at a port of entry, everything's fine. They just really don't like it when you walk across through a field and try to sneak in. I'll you know, try to just go and talk to them at the port of entry. Grenada. This is one of our guys in front of me here. He's going back to the exact same place I am. He was behind me, but somehow he got in front of me. I gotta try to change that again because I want to get loaded first. <laughs> I was first. <laughs>
is the sooner I get turned around and going back to Brainerd, the sooner I go to bed, the sooner I wake up, the sooner I get unloaded in the morning, the sooner I'm on my way home, the sooner I get home. That's, that's the whole point of tomorrow, getting home as fast as humanly and legally possible. You gotta add that legally part in there as a disclaimer, you know what I'm saying? Just in case, just in case. I'm done, wrapped and ready. Like an early Christmas present. The back here I got a little crooked, I think. <laughs> it's a little wonky. That side's a little higher than that side. But uh, it's doing its job. And we're just gonna try and pretend like we didn't see that it was just slightly crooked. Otherwise it'll bug me the whole way there. So if you didn't see anything, I didn't see anything either. It's perfectly straight. Right? Looks straight to me. I don't think I got some more blasting going on here. We're doing something. I don't know what that thing does. It looks like a big jackhammer, right? Two 
trucks here today. A spot for me and a spot for someone else here. So thank goodness we found a spot. There's the truck stop just over there. It's a little bit of a walk from where the parking is here, but got one of our trucks over here. Right on the end. Prep for the night. I know this guy. He's a really good guy. And there's me. There's another one of our guys coming behind me yet. Not too sure who he is. He looks like a new guy. Uh, but I'm thinking, because we both started at the same spot this morning in Brainerd, He's going to be running out of hours here. He's probably about three miles behind me, I thought. I thought he'd be here by now. But I had 40 minutes left on my clock when I got here. So I'm thinking he probably has very similar hours left. And that's not enough time to get anywhere else to park. So I'm thinking this parking spot right here will be for him. But we'll see. I ended up losing that inner hub cover again. Every time I get tire work done to my truck, every single time, I lose this inner hub cover. It's so frustrating, because they gotta go in there just right, right. But it seems like whenever I take the tire off, because you gotta take that off then, right? And then I put it back in, and it's gone, pretty gone. I'll show you the other side. See, that's how it's supposed to be. Now I gotta buy another one. It's like fifteen dollars. Uh, I can wait a little while on that. I'm trying to pay off some stuff as quick as we can. A little hub cover isn't really first priority. So thanks for hanging out with me today. It was a full day. Drove about ten hours and twenty minutes. I used up my full hours of service on my American side. If I was still in Canada, I'd still have another two and a half hours I could drive, but we're not in Canada. We're back in Deer River, Minnesota. And I'm excited about that. I love visiting here. It's a beautiful little town. Maybe I should stop in sometime if you're ever in the area. But anyways, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'm going to go to bed now. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that bell so that you get notified when new videos go live, because I make a new video every day. Tomorrow's will be released at 4 p.m. Central Time here in North America. If you want to take it one step further, if you like my videos that much, you can always click the Join Now button below my video. And for the cost of a cup of coffee a month, you can have early access to all my videos and special status in the comment section. It's up to you. If not, I'll settle for a comment down below. That helps me out with the algorithm, and I appreciate the support. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow, 4 p.m.